Hello. So, uh, they recently announced that Clash of Worlds is coming to an end um, after the current season, which I think ends in a few weeks. Uh, so, about two weeks. So, this will be the final season. So, after this is over, it's over. Um, like I said, and this is a mode that, I mean, even from day one, I always thought this mode kind of tank soon they may tried to make a few changes but it just this was this was a mode that had a lot of like fundamental issues kind of like another guild war um that we had three like that was two they lasted two days of like said then they made it three days so you only had to do two a week but i uh, just you know it just this is just kind of a tedious mode like and uh right one of the other issues like is just trying to motivate people um i haven't done my attacks yet but uh like, pretty much in any of these, like, we usually have, like, around 50 attacks left in this guild. This is on my main count. My, my secondary account has a bit better participation, but it's just, like, a lot of people just don't care about this mode. And then if you get to the top end, like, a lot of the guilds in the top leagues, like, the top, like, the top of the leaderboard, like, a lot of these top 50 guilds, um, they, they pretty much draw just about every match. Um, most matches are draws, so it's just, like, it ends up being even, uh even more boring because there's no point like because it's like your both teams are going to draw because you have extra attacks and uh you know it's just like so if, when every match draws like what's what's the point right so it just it just it was always a bad game mode it was never as poorly implemented it existed pretty much just to be a cash grab to give people a reason to invest into light and dark titans like I said they always they messed up they messed up the implementation of dark and light titans like in general i've, I've said this pretty much uh, for a long time but Clash of Worlds is getting cancelled. Um, yeah, it does suck that they remove content, but it's not a co it's not good content. This was always kind of a bad mode. Um, they did put out the whole article about why what their thoughts are, so I'm gonna go tab over and read that, um, so we can see it from what they say at least. Um, Clash of Worlds area of conquest fact. Hello, Guardians. Recently, we announced our plans to replace Clash of Worlds mode with the Area of Conquest mode. Thank you for the spirit discussion and lots of feedback. We are in the process of gathering your thoughts and suggestions. We'll make sure to take your community input and think it over. We'll come back with more details on the future of uh, Clash of Worlds and Area of Conquest next week. But right now, we want to address the most pressing concerns of our community regarding the Area of Conquest mode. Just so you know, we are aware of them that they're already taken into consideration. Let's talk about the reasons behind this decision. We regularly analyze various statistics and collect community feedback on game mechanics. Over the past six months, this data has shown that a large number of players are dissatisfied with Clash of Worlds, are not engaged with it, and spend little time participating, preferring other activities. On the other hand, Area of Conquest caught their attention and to seem have great potential for future development. There's also been numerous requests to bring the event back as soon as possible, and also some suggest you use it to replace Clash of Worlds or Guild War. These two factors are key incentives for this change. Naturally, many of you have mentioned that uh, for Area of Conquest more time-consuming event. Rest assured, developers are taking these concerns seriously. One of the key areas will be adjusted in the future iterations of Area of Conquest, the time commitment required. The mode will have cycles that will last a few days, definitely less than a week, and there will be planned pauses for several days between cycles, giving players time to rest. We are also aware of the game mode testing in terms of the login requirements. This one is trickier to handle, but we might iterate on that in the future too. There have been concerns raised about the matchmaking system area conquest. This is another critical aspect. The developers are currently dedicating a lot of effort to improving the system so that in future runs, players will face opponents with more balance of power. Um, there's also working on addressing potential exploit issues that you've been reporting to our support team. Thank you for your vigilance. And now let's address the elephant in the room, the Titans. The developers are aware that many players have invested significant time in upgrading them, and Titan battles were a major part of Clash World. With that in mind, we do plan to incorporate Titans in Area of Conquest some form in future iterations. Additionally, the resource for upgrading totems, which you earned by participating in Clash of Worlds, will also find their place in the Area of Conquest mode, providing you a sustainable, sorry, yeah, sustainable way to upgrade your light and dark totems. Once again, thank you all actively and passionately discussing this news. Your feedback is very important to developers to make Area of Conquest a fun, exciting mode for all players. Stay tuned for Area of Conquest Clash of Worlds next week um, for news on that. Okay, so let's go back to the game. Alright, so yeah, so this, there'll be like a couple more weeks of this, and then once it's done, there it's not coming back. Like, like I said, it's just, it was never a very good game mode. I don't think anybody really liked, I mean, some, a few people did, but most people never really liked this game mode. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna, it's gonna get retired. Um, 
not too much more to say on this. Like I said, we do have a new uh, Guild War, or sorry, Guild Raid coming up. Like that's also the other big news we've got recently is that you were getting new Guild Raid. Um, next week, new boss next week. So that like you choose which one it is. You can see guilds can still do wash, but I think a lot of them are probably gonna move on. Uh we'll see. But uh yeah, next week, Phantom Orchestra instead of Cradle of the Stars raid. Um, they also change this whole scene. So yeah, and if you want to know a bit more about like the upcoming boss, though, I did do a a video about it, like because when they announced it, I talked about like you know, kind of my initial impressions. Uh, and you can find a video down below. As always. Thank you for watching.